For this video, I'll show you how to customize an HTML radio buttons and share with you some techniques you can use to style any HTML core elements like this, as well as how you can use transitions to create powerful animations. I have here two radio buttons, one of them checked, and both have name of sample. And the way radio buttons work is you link them with the same name, so only one can be checked at a time. And if I break this link by making the name different, notice I can have both of them checked. The hard thing about radio buttons is you can style them directly and these do not look bad but the way it looks will vary from browser to browser and what you may want is for them to look the same in any browser. I can certainly change their size with width and height but if I try to change their color with color or background I fail. When I inspect them I don't have much to work with so I need to find a way to style them. The first thing I do is wrap them in a label tag and I'll add a span tag of class check mark. But the reason you wrap input field in a label tag is to associate the label with the input. And when you wrap it, you don't need the for attribute on the label since the association is implicit. This means that when you click on the label, it triggers the action on the input field like focus and in this case, the check action. I'll duplicate this and proceed to style it. I have here a basic body style and this is what is making the field stay center on the right side here. I'll first make this custom radio button 25 by 25 border of two pixel solid line of a dark ashy gray. I'll distance them with margin left and since the width and height are the same, I'll turn them into a circle with the border radius 50%. For the check mark, I'll first add a simple style so we can see them. And it's important to set the split inline block because span tags are inline tags and you can't give inline element a size. Then when the input is checked, I'll target the adjacent element, in this case the check mark, and make it display inline block. So I'll make sure there are display none first. And notice now that only the one checked is shown. I'll make the input field display none now and it continues to behave like before, even hidden. I believe only few fields give you this effect of even hidden, you can control their behavior. I've tried this with radio buttons, checkbox, and file input fields so far, which are common input fields people wish to give custom styling. Now that we got the behavior on lock, let's continue to style this check mark. So I'll first change its width and height using the calc function and say, take 100% of the width minus six, and do the same thing for the height. And this will allow three pixels gap from all sides. And in the custom radio button, I'll set the display flex, justify content center to center things horizontally and align items center to align things vertically. And now our dot is perfectly centered with three pixels gap also. Notice that when I set this to be five pixels and zoom, the gap is not even. And this is because the browser is trying to split a pixel into two which is not right. So it makes it three for one size and two for the other. And that's why I had to specify six. So it's three for all the side. If I change the custom radio button width and height, notice that the dot adapts and that's why I did not set fixed width and height on the check mark. So it grows and shrinks, always maintaining a three pixels gap. And I could also go as far as making the gaps adapt as well, but you got the idea here. Always create flexible things and avoid hard-coded pixels when possible. For the last thing, I notice that the dot disappears and appears and is not so smooth. So what I do instead of toggling the display, I'll use the opacity and then transition the opacity so it's much gentle movement on the eyes and I'll make it take a half a second. Join the Before Semicolon community by following the Twitter and Instagram page where I post code quests, tips and tricks and announce videos like this. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.